Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a great day. Today I'll be reviewing Beach Read by Emily Henry. This book, although it just came out, has been getting a lot of buzz. It was mentioned in a collection of New York Times book recommendations for the summer. And also, if you follow Emily Minerick or Jenna Clare, they've tweeted about this a lot. But also, given the state of the United States lately, I really wanted something that was going to be very escapist, I guess. And this book is the perfect choice for that. If there were some way to convert books into liquid, I would straight inject this into my veins. It is so happy making. If you don't know, Beach Read is about our main character, January, who's a romance slash women's fiction novelist. She has a book that's due to her agent, and she really needs to write it because she's practically broke at this point, but she just cannot. It is not coming out of her. Her dad has recently passed away, and since his death, she's found out that he had an affair. He had this entire separate lakeside house. After her father's died, he's passed it on to her. So she goes to this beach house planning on packing it up and selling it but in the meantime she's living there rent free trying to finally pound out this novel. When she gets to the beach house she realizes that next door lives her college rival, this guy named Augustus Everett. They went to college together, they were in all the same like writing classes. He's a very accomplished literary fiction novelist, like national book award finalist kind of person, but he's also struggling to write his book so they have a bet where they're swapping each other's genres to see if if January can write like pessimistic literary fiction and to see if Augustus can write like a fun romantic comedy. So that's the premise of the book. It kind of reminded me of Hazel and Josh, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren because in that book also they knew each other in college and then they reunite as adults and they go on like these quasi dates all the time and January and Augustus do that too because they're trying to teach each other how to write the other genre. January will plan like rom-com-ish dates for them to go on and Augustus schedules these interviews with local people who used to be a part of this big cult in the area. So they were kind of similar in that regard. But yeah, this book is just guaranteed happiness. It's like drinking ice cold lemonade on a really hot day. Like it is exactly what you want. And given the fact that it's set after January's father has died, it also deals with a lot more of an emotional spectrum than you'd first expect. So obviously there's a lot of fun, fluffy romance and chemistry, but there's also like a lot of untapped grief. January is in a lot of internal pain because she's kind of in a chapter of her life where everything has gone wrong. She has no money. Money. she has no boyfriend now she has no father the idea of the father that she had was a complete illusion like she's really grappling with a lot she has an awesome best friend but her best friend has like her own story going on and also Augustus has his own story going on all the characters feel very fully developed and pretty fleshed out so it's really enjoyable my least favorite thing about the characters are probably their names I'm not like the biggest fan of the name January Andrews Augustus Everett I can like maybe get behind but the fact that it's like January and August why are we doing that? <laughs> One thing I loved about this book was the banter between the two. I think I've said that they have incredible chemistry, but so much of their banter is so funny and really witty. Anytime they're just talking with each other, I'm laughing reading this. They both have a lot of personality, and their personalities on the surface are very, very different, which makes for such a fun, like, hate to love trope. But yeah, I really enjoyed both January and Augustus's characters. They're both really dynamic, and they both have pretty understandable thought processes. I thought the pacing was really excellent. I felt like I was never, ever bored. You can read like 200 pages pages of this in one sitting and feel like it was nothing. I loved how defensive January was about this entire genre of women's fiction and how people are always unfairly judging her. She gives a lot of great arguments, a lot of great defenses for the value of this kind of genre. It's sad knowing that the people who really need to hear that argument are probably not the people who are going to pick up this book. I think this book is super well done. I think the characters just feel very alive in the book. I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads. I knocked down a star because sometimes it's really, really, really cheesy. Like there are lines, especially at the end of a section or at the end of the chapter. You know how the authors want it to be like a fun flirty closer? A lot of those lines ended up being very much like from a Hallmark movie. Like if you're gonna end a letter with today I am your father, or if you're gonna say things like who needs snowflakes when I have January in reference to the character named January, that's not really my cup of tea. So there are definitely some lines where I'm just like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Wrap it up, let's keep going. <laughs> that's like really the only complaint I have is that sometimes it's just a little cheesy, like a little over the top. But yeah, I honestly don't think I have anything else substantial to say. I just wanted to share that this book is awesome and it's fun. And if you're looking for a good time, 
this is it. It's just so, so much fun in a way that doesn't make you feel like gross or guilty after you're done reading because it's not really just one thing. It's not like just a drama or just a romance or just a comedy. It kind of blends everything together. I think there's a lot of balance and there's a lot of heart and I feel like you can't read this book without smiling and laughing and crying and rolling your eyes. Like it has everything, you know? It's an excellent packaged book. So if you want something fun and funny and lovely, Beach Read by Emily Henry. You gotta get on it. Like I said, straight serotonin. I feel like the last time I thought about a book this way was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. That book was straight serotonin too. But yeah, if this book interests you in the least, you gotta pick it up. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. You just, you have to do it. If you've read this book, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, if not more. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and happy reading. Bye.